Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see about how to edit an image along with data. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification on it and do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So in previous video, we have discussed about how to fetch the image from the database so if you have not yet watched this video do watch it so that you will understand what is happening in this video so let's get started so this was my code here what we have to do is inside table let us give one table heading as edit i'll keep this as image edit image once i click on this edit image here I will have a TD and I will redirect this back to another page. Before that, let us give an anchor tag and give this as edit image. This is a button name. Give a class for this. So I have given a class. Let's go reload and check. So you can see you have got a button with edit image. Okay, this is a button so when i click on this edit image this button should take all the necessary information which is required information of this user along with the image and go to another page we'll first create one file for that so here give edit.php this is just the file so for whichever edit button i click it will go to edit but what makes that data unique is it can be the phone number or it can be the email or it can be even the id all these things are unique if you take phone number it is of 10 digit if you take email it is large in most of the case we use id so we have to concatenate this edit page with particular user id let's do that here let us give a question mark and tell id is equal to and paste this now let us go and reload so when I click on edit image of first user, you can clearly see this, it is directing to one page and it is taking that particular user's ID. So with the help of this ID, we can get that particular user's data. Click on this user 2, you can see the ID is 2 here. Now let us go create this edit.php, copy this edit.php, go here and here inside create one file which is edit.php and hit enter so in edit.php it is going to be similar as index.php wherein we'll be having the form all those things in edit.php first thing we have to do is we have to include the header and footer so let us copy the header and paste it in edit.php copy paste once again and change this to footer this is done and after that we require container and all those things so what we'll do is we'll go to index we'll copy from the container copy and gonna paste it in edit.php so here we have the whole card and uh, the form inside this let us go change this to edit image edit image with data from database let us go and reload this page you can see edit image the heading has been changed but we required the form but it is showing id one but the data is not being fetched so we have to write php code to fetch this data so let us do that so here before form so i'm just closing this form and i'm gonna write php code here so i require to open and close php and inside this i will be writing the query to fetch first thing is the connection so we will just go to code.php and copy paste this connection copy and paste it here so once connection is set we have to write the query so the query is nothing but give as fetch image query is equal to select star from the table name so here the table name is 
inside php tutorials database a table is students so copy the students table name and paste it this will give all the data of the particular table which is student but we require a single data in case like we require only one person's data we have to use where condition so here what we'll do is we'll give where id is equal to dollar id so this id is a variable which is not there here we have to create that variable and pass this id so let us copy this id and paste it here is equal to dollar get of this id let us copy this id and paste it here we are getting that id and using in our select query once after this we have to tell fetch image query run is equal to using my sqli query connect your database as well as fetch image query copy and paste after this there is data inside we have to show that user data if not we are not going to show anything we are just going to show some message so for that we'll use if condition if my sqli number of rows of this dollar fetch query run copy paste it if this is greater than 0 which means there is data else no data so we'll echo and tell no data found there is data we we'll use loop so now here we'll be using for each loop or each of dollar fetch query run as dollar row and let us echo dollar row of id let us echo this user's id first and if this is working we'll just cut that and paste it inside our form let us go and reload this now you can see it is perfectly displaying here the id now what we should do is we don't require the id we just require name phone number email and the image to be displayed so what we have to do is so all this should be inside form right so we will just comment this code close php here and open php so here we have to cut this and paste the form so cut the form and paste it here give control a and format document so it is done now what we have to do is first of all we have to give the value for this name so give a value attribute and inside this just give open close ph and tell dollar row of name let us go and reload now here what you have to give is echo so i just forgot to give the echo and then go and reload so here you can see you'll get the data of user one similar way you have to do it for the phone number email and the student image as well so let's do that just copy this value and paste change the name to phone similar way copy this and paste it for the email as well and change it to email for the student image the type is file so what we have to do is we have to create another input tag and paste this copy paste it here give the name for this as image old for now let it be as text while updating we have to not show this we will make it as hidden now let's go reload so before that see the button is submit and uh, the name we have to change it to update button and uh, the button you can make it to primary or if it is to the other or also it's fine and instead of save image give update image now let us go and reload so when i click on first user i'm getting all the necessary information of that user here i'm getting the email 
so let us go change that to image it is displaying that user 2 is the image name if you want this to display as image itself you can use image tag we'll see that also other than that all the fields are displaying fine so if you want to display the image what you have to do is you have to use the image tag inside give the alt name as image and here inside source what you have to give is where your image is stored you have to give that so what you will do is first you will copy paste this and here what we have to do is before this row we are going to concatenate the folder name where that image is stored so it's in uploads folder so let's give uploads and give a slash so this will give the image and give the width as 50% or 75% so width is 75 now let us go and reload so you can see you got to see the image there so this is the current image let's hide this username give this as hidden now you can reload and check so this is the current image which is there so while updating this image has to change so that's it in this video so this is how you edit an image so edit is nothing but like if i have forgotten to i have given the number wrong here it has to be 54 so this is what the edit means and the updation part will be in next video. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section. Like share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.